we have seen how to calculate the throughput uh, with help of throughput.pl parallel script uh, now we are going to learn how to calculate uh, the average uh, throughput and average jitter uh, parameters with help of uh, AVG start dot a w c k so uh, you can search this uh, script uh, at the web and uh, you will find it in the format similar like the throughput.pl so what you have to do is to copy the text and uh, paste it in the avoc file that you are going to create uh, you should do this in the working folder where you are going to store your out.tara uh, uh, file so in order to execute this uh, script to call it is the similar is the similar with the instant jitter avac file and with um, uh, instant throughput avac file you should search these uh, scripts and the uh, web and uh, cop translate them in the files so uh, how you are going to call them you can call them in the um, uh, terminal or you can call them in the finish procedure that is part of your uh, that is part of your uh, TCL script so you run the command ex execute uh, uh, avac minus f avagastat dot uh, av av, AV uh, uh, you should uh, put the name of the uh, source uh, node you should put the name of the destination node if there is a flow label you should put it the packet size that you are looking uh, searching for and uh, you are entering the name from which file you are going to read all of this information in our case this is out.tera and uh, you will name the file in which you are going to to storage the information is the same procedure for the instant throughput dot script uh, you should um, put the granularity at which you are going to uh, make the samples similar like in throughput dot uh, script you are defining the source node you are defining the destination node you are uh, putting the label about the flow if there is any and you are telling the packet size also you have to tell the name of the Tera file from which you are going to extract the information the same procedure stands for the instant jitter dot avac and uh, you you can run the script you can save the changes you have to go in the terminal and to run the example in which uh, you have uh, called all of these uh, scripts we'll see at the end uh, what will be the output in our next videos we are going to try to present the uh, throughput and the jitter and um, in uh, with a graphic in uh, real time Okay, the execution has finished. We will close the network animator tool. We have observed it in our previous videos. And what is the output? The output is avaga.out. Let's see what we have here. We have information about the flow ID, about the flow type. We are analyzing TCP flow type about the source node it's uh, no in this case the destination node is 4 start time is 1 stop time is the end of the simulation receive package uh, 7290 package average throughput in kilobits average delay of the package the jitter 1 2 3 4 uh, is uh, stayed here so you can use this uh, information about the, the flow
uh, what else we can see if we open the instant throughput file or instant jitter yes uh, here we can see that uh, we have the flow the flow type the source uh, node the destination node the time and the throat that is achieved it's similar with the jitter instant jitter tcp out we have named this file like this yes so we can see that we are we have uh, jitter calculation of jitter 3 4 we have the uh, source node the destination node the time jitter 1 and 2 so with help of this you can you can calculate uh, the jitter between the packages and uh, you can draw it in real time so it's quite easy i hope that you will uh, have no difficulties to to uh, run it just check yes you have to uh, remember that uh, all of these uh, scripts you have to call it in the finished procedure